don't move him now? No worries, Legend. It's all good, man. Let's see. Now you don't even want him to be a cornerback? <laughs> it was Green Nation's idea. Am I playing a game? I'm not going to play a game with this team. Uh, we can either go to our Buffalo Bills franchise and play a game, or we can hop on 2K. I'll let you guys decide on what y'all want to do next. I will let you guys decide on what y'all want to do next. Here we go. Rookie signings. All right. 81 overall. Yeah, we had a pretty solid draft considering. We had a pretty solid draft considering that we traded so many picks away. Again, I don't think this was the greatest of drafts anyway. What do you guys think? Move him to... If one of the mods can make a straw poll for 2K or the Bills franchise, and then a separate straw poll to keep him at wide receiver or move him to cornerback. Let's let's do the wide receiver or cornerback one first. Oh, I need a mod Waffle back. Is Waffle still alive? Waffle, you there? There we go. There we go. Alright, um... So make this poll first, since this is more time pressing. Derek Fitzgerald, Derek Fitzgerald, keep him at wide receiver or move him over. Uh, but here's our draft. Trenton McKnight, a good free safety. I'd like to find out what his catching is. I'd like to find a guy catching 75. I love to see that. That is great. And Eduardo Ivory with 74 catch. 85 catch for the strong safety. Yes, that is awesome. And then 87 cats for Fitzgerald if we try to move him over. If we try to move him over. Let's see. Cornerback or wide receiver? I'll see what you guys think. I told Green, who has uh, donated quite a few times to me. Oh man, this is like directly split. I'll give it a second to check back. But right now, it was like directly split. Make him a tight end. Well, we ended up getting uh, Jokel at tight end. So, we don't really need him there. Alright, so overall, these are our new players. A pretty solid draft. Again, I didn't think this was the strongest of drafts. So, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, Deion Knight did move up to a 72 overall. So, we got Mick Knight and then just regular Knight. Uh, 85 catch for Walker. I'm stoked about that. Um, overall, pretty solid. Pretty solid. So let's go ahead and check out the other teams here. We'll check out the other team's drafts. What's this straw poll? 31 to 18. You guys are voting on moving him over to a cornerback. We'll do that. We'll do that. I do need to sign some more wide receivers anyway. 81 cornerback for the Bears here. 78 right outside. Linebacker 72 left in. Bengals 73 left tackle. 77 cornerback for them. Bills, 76 right tackle, 73 center. There's Taylor Jackson. Broncos, I mean, look at this draft, guys. This was just a horrible draft. 75 middle linebacker. The Browns, an 80 overall quarterback. Jeffrey Ewing, 73 defensive tackle. Buccaneers, there's Brady Jackson, only a 74 overall. Really? Not all that good. In fact, the right guard that we ended up getting is better than Brady Jackson. Now, is he going to be better at center? I don't know. Uh, but really not all that good. I mean, guys, I told you one of the reasons I wanted to trade out of this draft so many times was I did not feel comfortable at all with this draft. And it's not looking very good right now. But there's another Blake. So all kinds of Blake brothers right now. All kinds of Blake brothers right now. Check the quarterback I said would be good. I will. We'll get to that. We will get to that. Sneaky Nation, can we get one more subscriber tonight? I think it would be incredible to hit 10 on the night. That would just be amazing. Uh, again, we got the subscriber league. Look at Fitzgerald's coverage skills first. Okay, yeah, we'll have to do that. We'll have to do that. Uh, pretty good draft here, though, for the Cardinals. They did do pretty solid. Uh, wide receiver, 79 overall in the third round from Lehigh. Beating Duke up. 76 wide receiver, 72 center. There's Connor Holland, the other guy that we were almost drafting. Colts, 79 left tackle. I mean, look at this draft. This draft was just not good. The Cowboys, though, did find a 78 overall quarterback and a 78 overall wide receiver to pair with him. 
And they got Doolittle as well. He was only a 71. I thought he'd be a little bit better than that, but that was not the case. Blue's on point. What did Blue say? Oh. <laughs> there we go. The Discord chat is a new way for Sneaky Nation to communicate with everybody. I'll be there. You guys can talk football with each other. Uh, pretty much I want it to be like a forum for y'all to, to kind of talk to me and everything like that. You know, there's Lavari Wade, 80 overall. Very solid player there. Um, you know, it's, it's an area for you guys to talk to me and everything. So... Thank you, 420 No Scope Blaze. Appreciate that, dude. Uh, not a good draft, guys. This is insane. There's Mark Hill, the other guy that y'all wanted, 76 overall. All right, 49 to 75 left tackle, 76 left outside linebacker. Not a good draft, man. Usually you see a lot of 70s, a lot of 80s, and that's just not the case here. Here's McClam, 78 overall, 75. There's Price that you guys liked. Jabrian Price. Jabrian Price. The Jaguars, nothing special at all for them. 83 overall right outside linebacker for the Jets. 74 wide receiver. They are beasting that defense up. There's Demarcus Moss, only a 70 overall. So that tight end that we got late round is actually better than Demarcus Moss. So, overall, man, we really did pretty solid. Do a free practice? Let's see. The next stream, probably tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. Cam Hopkins, here's the quarterback that I said would be pretty good. 76 overall, 75 for Nathan Nelson. This draft is just horrid. This is so bad. Ace Harris, 77 strong safety. Panthers, 77 middle linebacker, Lee Andre Blake. A lot of Blakes going in this draft. And then uh, Ivan Marsh, 70 overall right outside linebacker. 75 running back, Dre Everett. And Dre Everett was the fastest running back in the draft class, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what his speed ended up being. Where is it at? Not good catching. So even if he has good speed, he wouldn't have been great out of the backfield. 87 speed. Wasn't he the fastest running back? That's not all that great. That's not all that great. What up, Lucan? What is Wade? Uh, we just saw Wade. Wade was like an 80 overall. I think Johnny Cash, thank you for that follow. Welcome to Sneaky Nation. Let's see. Patriots. Two quarterbacks, 76 and 79. They drafted a quarterback down here as well. Jimmy Blake, the other Blake. How many Blakes are there in this draft? Wow. Uh, Jordan Fernandez, who went to Florida. Nate Keller, who went to USC, and Jimmy Blake, Illinois State. Wow, so many quarterbacks here, uh, especially two with their first two picks. It's very odd. Let's see what they got. Simaj, 999, thank you for that follow. And then Rapid doing another straw poll here. Is this the Bills or 2K? Let's see what's going on here. 2K is winning right now. I'll check back on it in a second. I'll let people do some votes there. Um... Where is their throw power and stuff like that? I've already passed it, haven't I? I probably have. Speed, 73, 73. All right. Medium accuracy, yeah. Looking at this, uh, the better quarterback definitely seems to be Nate Keller here. Uh, I wonder who has more potential. But anyway, interesting uh, strategy. Uh, some people are saying do free practice as well. Do you guys want to do that? We could also do that if you guys so choose. Uh, that is another option. They also got a 77 defensive tackle. The Rams, 76 right outside linebacker, 78. Ross Harden, cornerback. Uh, Maxi Griffin at middle linebacker. Otis Locke at, line, uh, at running back. So pretty decent draft, shockingly enough, from the Raiders. Although they have been drafting well lately, these are some solid players to add to their team moving forward. Uh, the Rams left tackle, Dre Gibbons. Uh, 78 left tackle, 78 wide receiver. The Ravens, 75 wide receiver, 70 uh, Jimmy Harvin there. Oryx, thank you for that follow. Welcome to Sneaky Nation. A lot of people are saying free practice now. I did see Knight went up to a 72. I did. He fits our scheme. That's Or did he fit our scheme? I, he must. He must. That would be the only reasonable explanation. 78 wide receiver here for the Redskins. 76 left tackle. And then uh, Taylor Knight, 73 right guard. The Saints, 74 defensive tackle, 74 middle linebacker. I mean, this draft, dude, 
this draft, it's pretty bad. If I'm saying a good draft, there's a bunch of like lower 70 players, but that's a good draft right now. This is not a good draft class. That's why we traded out so many times. And the Saints, these are what they did with those draft picks. You guys can have a pattern in my memory. Very, Very drunk. drunk. Unchanted! Yeah. Yo, that drunk Jacob thing is never not going to be funny. Drunk Jacob rising up. Unchanted 21 rising up. Yo, thank you so much for that subscription. And with that, we hit 10 subscribers on the night. So much so that my my counter is like off. I have to like move this way out here now. I have to do that. Yo, Unchanted, thank you so much. Sneaky Nation, prior to tonight, I never had more than two subs in a single stream. And tonight, y'all have made it 10. Unbelievable. Sneaky Nation rising up, man. That is so cool of you guys. The Subscriber League is happening for PS4 and for Xbox. Unbelievable. Y'all are insane. Thank you so much to everybody who subscribed tonight and everybody who donated tonight. And Waffle. Waffle, you already know. Waffle. Waffle's going in a hundred second time out. Dang. So I told you guys it was a possibility before the stream. My computer sucks. Uh, so I'm working on getting a new one. But anyway, let's find out what everybody else did. Eduardo Jose. 75 overall, 76 AJ Rodriguez. Uh, the Texans, 76 overall quarterback here. Steelers, 78 free safety. Seahawks, 74, two, two wide receivers here. Just not a good draft. I mean, this draft is horrible, and this is where we were anyway. Uh, so all these picks that the Saints traded for of ours really did not help them out. They didn't get, like, any great players here. So, overall, refresh. It's, it's not offline. Anyway, guys, I don't know how I'm going to make this happen fully, but we'll make it happen. We'll, we will make it happen. Oh, that sucks so badly. It just sucks so badly, guys. I'm really sorry for that. It, it's, uh, it's an older computer. It's a Cybertron. I had it built, like, five, six years ago. And unfortunately, it came back to haunt us today. I have to remod Waffle. There you go, Waffle. I'm sorry. Whoop. You might be able to... Ah, that's a good idea, G. Sneaky G had a good idea. I might be able to get it through my past broadcast on Twitch. Everybody, show some love to Sneaky G. That's a good idea. Everybody, go check out OMG Waffle stream and check out Sneaky G's stream as well. Uh, man, that sucked. That sucked big time. But it's okay. We might be all right. If I can just do it through past, broad, uh, past broadcast. What do you mean through action, though, G? Wouldn't I just put it, take it from there and figure out where to go with it? I'll have to figure something out. I'll have to figure something out. But anyway, uh, we need to change some positions around. Our wide receiver, everybody voted on doing a cornerback for Fitzgerald. Uh, we do need to check out his coverage skills. Hopefully, he's got some good coverage skills because I think that would be hilarious to try him out there. So let's go find out. And I'm not even going to see it here, am I? So I need to go back to all and just scroll down to, and find him there. Let's see what we got. Can one of the mods post Waffle Stream as well as Sneaky G's? Ah. Okay, G. I'll try that. I'll talk to you about that after the stream. I'll talk to you about that afterwards. Alright. Um, look at that zone coverage for him, dude. I'm liking him. Uh... Oh, wait, yeah, that's what we need to look at. Zone coverage and man coverage. Okay. Fitzgerald. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That might not even be possible, guys. Oh, it's so bad. That is so bad. Guys, I don't know that we could do that. 
28 and 27. People are saying move Bradford to safety. Why? Why? Tell, just tell me why I'd put him in here. Where he's not going to play over any of these three guys. And he's not going to play over either of these two guys. We'd, we'd be moving him just for the sake of moving him. Which I don't really like that idea at all. I don't like the idea of moving him just to move him. Uh, we'll have him play backup middle linebacker. And then he can play over there as well. You know, behind the Tulele and so on. There's no need to move him just to move him though. Uh, make him a tight end. Well, he's not hes not going to play over Wayne Chapman or uh, Chance Jokel, I don't think. We can look at the what he, making him a tight end will do, but I think it'll just decrease his overall. So we'll see. Do it and use preseason XP to update coverage. Man, it would be such a project to do that. We can try it, but... That'd be a monster of a project. I mean, we could use them here. We could use them here. We only have six tight end or wide receivers on the roster. What do y'all think? Yeah, we'll go over the roster in a second. We'll do that when we get to the regular season. Get a running back. I don't know who's available. It might just be best to keep him at wide receiver, guys. It might just be best to keep him there. We don't even really need a wide receiver, but if one of our guys goes down with an injury, which we saw happen a few times with Curtis Harden and Doriel Green Beckham last year, we'll have him there. Move him to tight end, but even at tight end, he's really not going to not gonna fill a big need. He'd fill a bigger need at wide receiver than he would at tight end. So let's go ahead and advance. Here we go. Let's see. Switch to the rookie safety and linebacker. Well, that rookie safety had 85 catch. The strong safety. And he wouldn't start at linebacker. It would just be shuffling people for the sake of shuffling them. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. What up, Spicy Oreo? What up, Khalil Mack? Alex James, thank you for that follow. Welcome to Sneaky Nation. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at our depth chart here. Here we go. We'll go ahead and automatically do best depth chart here, but we'll fix it. We'll fix it. We'll go through. Um, so here we go. Marcus Mariota as our starter. We're going to go ahead and throw Tyson. Tyson. How would I say that? That's not Sean. Ta Tyson? Tyson? Ty I don't know. Russell is our backup. <laughs> we'll just do that. Jelp2, thank you for that follow. Welcome to Sneaky Nation. What up, James Rodriguez? Let's see. Uh, Alright, these are our running backs for right now. We'll have to sign a third, probably. Got Dor Dickerson over there at wide receiver. Jaden Haskell, thank you for that follow. Welcome to Sneaky Nation. Curtis Harden going to be our number one. Doriel Green Beckham going to be number two. I'll keep Kendall right here for now. But I really, I really kind of want to get Sutton to that slot spot. But we'll give it a shot for now. Nick Golden, 86, thank you for that follow. Let's see. Wayne Chapman and Luke, or <laughs> I said Luke Jokel. Chance Jokel going to be there. Left tackle, solid. Oh, dang it. I meant to move that guard over to center. I did mean to do that. I forgot. So where's our rookie right guard? Or left guard? Right guard? Here he is. Rashad Roberts. I meant to move this guy over. So he is going to be our starting... Our starting center. Alright. Alright, what is he here? He's a 76 here. So what if I actually just made Warmack? Where's Warmack over here? What if I just made Warmack the starting center? Warford the starting left guard. I don't know. Maybe we should just keep it. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? 
Tayshawn, Tyson. You guys don't you y'all don't even know. Tayshawn. Tayshawn, maybe? I don't know. What do y'all think about this? Just keep it as it is or move it around a little bit? Yeah, make Warmax center. Alright. Do this for now. Alright, then move Warford up here. Put Warmack at center. And then put our rookie over here. We'll give this a shot. We can always move it around. If it doesn't work, we'll move it around. But we'll give that a shot. Joshua Bello. Thank you for that follow. Welcome to Sneaky Nation. We'll give that a shot, guys. If it doesn't work out, we don't like it. We can always change it. Not a big deal. Uh, definitely like the Quan Jones a little more than Mike Martin there. Um, I wouldn't mind giving Dion Knight a go there. That's why I drafted Dion Knight to move him over here and play left in. So I might do this. This way Knight will get a lot of time in the preseason right there. Uh, but he's going to have to earn his spot. He's not just going to have it handed to him. So we'll see how that turns out. And then I wonder what Knight would rank down here. 73 overall defensive tackle. All right. Left outside linebacker. Pretty set there. Middle linebacker. I do want to have... If Latulale is going to play back up there, I can put Bradford as the backup here. See how that works? So Latulale will be the backup middle linebacker. Then we'll have uh, Bradford as the backup right outside linebacker. Our number one corner, definitely going to be Prince of Mucamara. This is where it gets a little bit more difficult. Let's find the best man coverage, and that's going to be a Mucamara. So Mucamara is going to be over there, and it's not even close. So this way I get another shutdown corner. It was a good signing getting a Mucamara there. Uh, I do like Parrish Cox's ability to get interceptions. Again, we're pretty, sit sitting pretty solid with depth over there. Uh, Huff is going to start off for right now. McKnight, you know, he's a rookie. He's going to have to earn his time. Uh, he'll get a lot of opportunities in the preseason there, though. Um, again, Stafford right now is going into the season as the starter, but I want to see what Cersei can do in the preseason. I want to give Walker a chance in the preseason to make his name known as well. So we'll see how that turns out. We'll see how he does throughout preseason. Kick returning, Sean Sutton and Parrish Cox. Pump returning, Parrish Cox. No, I want Sutton here as well. Uh, but Walker's on this list, and I'm cool putting Walker... Is he not on the punt return list, though? Wait, is he not even here at all? Am I looking over him? How is Walker nowhere to be set, nowhere to be found on the punt return list or kick return list? But as a punt returner, he's in 85 overall. That's kind of weird, right? I mean, that's fine. What's his speed? 82 speed. No, I don't really want him returning punts anyway. That's fine. Sean Sutton it is. Center or long snapper, Jacob's favorite position. Warmack is going to be there. Uh, third down back, we'll actually put Cobb there. We'll throw Cobb there. And hopefully next year we'll have a much better draft. Water boy, what is going on, dude? How are you doing tonight, man? Put Fitzgerald at that third tight end. We can do that. We can do that. All right, there we go. Good idea. Good idea. Let's see. But Waterboy, how you doing tonight, dude? Didn't even see you tune in. Waterboy, do you have a PS4? Because I just announced tonight, I'm going to start up a sub league with PS4 or Xbox One or and Xbox One. So if you have one, let me know, dude. All right, but that is our roster going into the preseason, guys. Let's go ahead and go over here. I'm going to have to change it to eight-minute quarters for preseason as we play it on. Whoops. And another thing we're going to have to do is check out the Saints roster because we have so many of their picks right now. It's a glorious thing, and we definitely need to see how their roster is looking. So let's go do that. The depth chart for the Saints. You have an Xbox One water boy? Do you have Madden on it? Would you want to jump into a uh, a sub franchise? Because I am going to be creating one. Saints. Drew Brees is still at quarterback. Dang it. I was hoping he had retired, but 
That's not the case. Mark Ingram at running back. John Kuhn coming over at fullback. Brandon Cooks. They did lose Marcus Colston, though. We do need to sign a, a running back. We'll look into that. What up, Mate Cumber? Yeah, I ended up getting disconnected. Uh, what do you say, uh, Waterboy, though? Would you be down to do that if you have Madden? Also, Waterboy, you would? Nice. All right, so we, we're starting to get people for the Xbox One Sub League as well. And Waterboy, join the Discord chat. Everybody, all especially the subs, but everybody join the Discord chat. Discord chat. They did get Pierre Garçon over there. Man, what do y'all think of this team? How are our, our pick is probably going to be mid-pick. They ended up getting Schwanky. Schwanky went over there to be a backup. What a goober. What a goober. Really? Oh, man. Left in. Oh, man, their defense. No defensive tackles. They have Junior Galette still. All right. Middle linebackers are right outside. Not all that great. How's their secondary looking? Okay. Oh, man. They got Cyprian. All right. What do you guys think? Still, getting all those extra picks is definitely going to be big. Did I convert Fitzgerald to cornerback? Green Nation, we were about to do it. And we looked at his coverage skills, dude. And his coverage skills were in the 20s. So there was just no way it was going to happen. We, we couldn't do it, man. Uh, free agents, let's look for a backup running back here. See if we can find a rookie. Starla Tulele is there. I don't really need a defensive tackle, though. Um, I'll let him go to another team. Let's see. Running back. Doug Martin as a backup. I might as well just sign the fastest that I can. Ben Tate, Roy Hulu, Todman. Is there a rookie? I mean, I'm looking for a third string guy. So if I can just find a rookie, man, I wouldn't be opposed to that at all. There. Deontay Grant. All right, so there's a few options here. A few rookies to choose from. We got four. Let's see. Let's go ahead and look at their stats. This guy is rated the best. A receiving back. That would be great to replace McCluster. Let's see. I don't need Starla Tulele. Like, we already have Nada. We already have Nada. We just don't need him. Alright. Speed, 89. Going to be the best. Agility, 91. Acceleration, 93. Awareness is rough, but we can expect that. Carrying, 78. Trucking, 63. This guy has 90 trucking. Stiff arm. Good stiff arm there. Spin move. Definitely going to go to this guy. So, it's, it looks like... Oh! Well, Grant has a better juke move. And strength. Catching's roughly the same. Let's see. What are you guys thinking here? Who would y'all rather go with? Let's see. Guys, it's going to be a third string guy. We can do a practice. We can play a few practice rounds. Uh, it's a third string guy. You know, I don't need to sign Doug Martin to play third string. You know what I mean? Just don't. I don't need Chris Polk. Everybody's saying Grant. Okay, we'll go with Grant. I just need a third string guy. I don't need, you know, some guy that's going to be our number one guy. So anyway, that... Uh, let's go ahead and maybe sign a center as well. Backup center. Let's do this. Big Daddy Grove, thank you for that follow. Welcome to Sneaky Nation, dude. Alright. So we'll play a few little practice things, a free practice. But for everybody on YouTube, that is going to be it for this stream. Everybody who showed up tonight, thank y'all so very much. You guys are absolutely insane, man. I really appreciate the support. I know we lost a lot of people when... Uh, I had the issues. Hopefully, G can help me work through that. <laughs> I think I'll be able to get it back, though. G had a really good idea of just looking it up in past broadcasts, so we'll go for that. Um, but I do want to say thank you so much to everybody. Let me go over here really quick. I got to scroll down a bit on this one. So let me go down here. 
find out where we started on the night. All right. So for our subscribers today, Miracle Whipper, T Kippers, Stevie Five Red, El Dominconi. I, I apologize if I still said it wrong. I might call you El Dom because that sounds pretty cool. That's cool with you, Mr. Hercules, Nelly Cruz, Seattle, Firewolf, still going up here, Pika Puncher, T Trey Trizzle, and Unchanted. Guys, thank you all so much for the subscriptions, donations. Let me shout out everybody again. Panther Nation 89 got us going with a $20 donation. Stevie Red with a $2, $4, two $2 ones. Jacob, Drunk Jacob, the star of the night with all of those subscriptions. Whenever somebody subscribes, that guy that you see is Jacob PC Gaming. He came through with a $5 donation. Cue ball, $10. Official Green Nation with a $2. Panther Nation, $2. Firewolf, $10. Greek Matthew, 2 Why is it cutting off some of these? I know because I know there's another one that I need to say what's up to. Where is it? Where is it? It's not like not even showing up on this screen. But we all know. Why is it not? I'll have to go to a different screen to find it. Let me do that. Let me do it because you guys deserve your shout outs for sure. Helping me out like that, especially you guys see my computer issues, so that's all helping me out. Waffle, Artie, Jacob, Mike, City, El Dom, Panther Nation, Stevie, Q Ball, Official Green Nation, Panthers Nation, El Dom again, Greek Matthew, Firewolf, and Happy Boris as well. And then Panther, Na Panther Nation. Also with the $15 donation to start us off, actually. So I wanted to give shout-outs to all of you guys. Thank y'all so very much. You're in France, I know, dude. I remember you telling me that. Uh, so let's go here. I'm going to save this under a different file right now. I'm saving this under Titan's Draft. And that's the one just in case I have a difficult time recovering everything. We'll do it this way. But we might be able to make it work. I think Sneaky G thinks he can help me. I think it'll work. Um... And that's going to be it for uh, the YouTube portion of the stream. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.